I'm sure you've noticed by now, but David Dobrik has pretty much disappeared here on YouTube. So there's an interesting lesson in where he went and why. And that's what we're talking about this week on The Breakdown. Watch the breakdown. And if you're new here, I'm Colin. And I'm Samir. And this actually isn't the first video we've made about David Dobrik. These guys did like an analysis on why I laugh so much in my videos. And it's actually really great. If you haven't seen that video, that means that you're probably not subscribed. So subscribe. Since March 10th, David has only uploaded one time to his YouTube channel. It's been a while. I haven't posted in a while. And he says he doesn't intend to. I can't produce the same content under these quarantine rules because I can't be going out. I can't be filming with friends. So David continuing to put out vlogs would be like too hot to handle filming season two over Zoom. It would be a way worse show. It wouldn't even be the show. So they're not going to make it. I hope they're giving us a too hot to handle <laughs> season two. That I would, show. I would hope so too, but I'm just saying. One of the greatest shows ever made. I think this really shows you how committed he is to his format. People are like, well, film like a Q&A. Does pineapple belong on pizza? Yes. No. You don't have to make it all quick. And I'll be like, no, that's completely wrong. The majority of the people, the reason they come to my videos, they like that the videos are short. So when they're over, they're like bummed out that there's not more. He's created a lot of constraints around what he does. Like all of his vlogs are four minutes and 21 seconds. They're action packed. And that format just can't be created under these restrictions. What will you, you do know. if this goes on for five months? I don't know. I, something's gonna come to me and I, I think I'll, I'll figure it out. So I'm if I make this, you have to massage my feet. Since he stopped uploading YouTube videos, he's uploaded over 100 TikToks. TikTok, it's the best app there has ever been and I shit you not, <laughs> there's nothing better. His TikTok is basically just his vlog reimagined and cut up into little segments. One major difference between TikTok and YouTube for David is that he can actually have a conversation with his audience and with his community on TikTok using duets. Hi guys, so I have this dollar bill, right? I'm gonna write my name on this. So if you find this dollar, duet this video and I will get your information and I will send you $10,000. And he's taking part in all these trends that everyone else is also taking part in. So it's making him more like everyone else. He's like the mega influencer that doesn't feel like a big celebrity. He feels like your next door neighbor. When his vlog would come out, it was only once a week. Now there's a living, breathing vlog. Throughout the day, he's releasing four bits in a day. All day he's relevant to me, every day. He talks about it a lot on his podcast, but he stays up all night editing his vlogs. Now he can upload straight from his phone and get the same kind of viewership, if not more. He's also able to do brand deals on TikTok that have massive scale. His campaign with Chipotle, where he gave out free Chipotle for life to five people, saw over 1.1 billion views on the videos that were uploaded. A billion, over a billion, that's oh insane. God. The Super Bowl gets 100 million views. Chipotle's I. Right. what? First off, I've never heard you say, I, I. What do you mean, man? He made this jump one time before from Vine to YouTube and found a ton of success on the platform, but he's done it again from YouTube to TikTok. By the time you're watching this video, he probably has more TikTok followers than he has YouTube subscribers. All right, so quarantine ends. What happens next to David Dobrik? Does he keep uploading on YouTube? I think he uploads less to YouTube, but every time he does upload to YouTube, similarly to the EA video, it just breaks the internet. I think that's right, but I think it heavily depends on how much money he can make on TikTok. If it can completely replace what he's doing on YouTube, it's way easier and he's way more relevant. I think TikTok's gonna do everything in their power to make sure he makes as much money as possible. And what does YouTube do to fight back? They like, do they even want him? He barely makes money on AdSense. They need David Dobrik, but they don't want a bunch more of him because they can't even run ads on his channel. I think something really interesting also, related to the fact that Spotify paid Joe Rogan to put his video podcast on Spotify, makes me think, who else is gonna start poaching YouTube creators and paying them to be exclusive to their platform? What if David Dobrik got a year-long exclusivity deal with TikTok? That would be worth so much money. Wow. That's crazy. According to this article from The Hollywood Reporter, David was originally paid by TikTok to start uploading. How much do you think TikTok paid him to start uploading? A couple million. Millions. Two million? I don't know. Three million? Can you imagine someone paying you to be on TikTok and then you go on TikTok and you, then you just keep making millions from like Chipotle and other people? That would be great. It'd be really yeah, cool. Actually, I, I totally take back everything I said about Chipotle. Yeah, how dare you? It's way more than all right. It's great. A billion, over a billion. That's oh insane. God. So clearly Dobrik has taken a liking to TikTok and the platform is showing just how powerful it really is. My one competition, thing that I'm seriously worried about is TikTok. I am scared that TikTok is going to be bigger than individual creators. Right. And it's just gonna become this like powerhouse itself. And it's not like YouTube. There's something about TikTok that like is such a weird source of entertainment. I don't know, I just, I just think it's incredible. If you can only have one platform for the rest of your life, which one do you pick? TikTok. Wow, really? Yeah. I would go YouTube. Yeah, but I don't even care who I'm watching on TikTok. Yeah, that's wild. And I like it. That's crazy. All right, make sure to like this video, comment below, and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next week. Watch the breakdown.